The doctor piloted the TARDIS to examine the flux, which Carvanista had claimed to be saving Dan from. The force turned towards the ship and kept closing in, with Dan hoping they were safe as they were sealed in. The doctor desperately unleashed vortex energy as the flux approached, TV, the Halloween apocalypse, which resulted in the trio being flung through time to the Crimean War where they found Santarans in the place of Russia. Dan was then flung through time again as a result of the vortex energy, finding himself back in modern Liverpool which had been occupied by Santarans. With the aid of his parents, Dan escaped the Santaran patrols and he decided to infiltrate the Santaran ships there, armed only with his dad's walk. In a spaceship he made contact with the doctor in the past, warning her of Santaran plans he'd overheard en route, and was rescued from Santaran guards by Carvanista. Working together they arranged the destruction the Santaran fleet of timeships that were posed to invade all of Earth's history and managed to escape using a waste chute. When the doctor returned, Dan accepted her offer to join her as she departed to find Yaz. They were diverted to the planet time where Swarm and Azure were waiting for them in the Temple of Atropos. The pair revealed to the Doctor and Dan they'd put Yaz and Instant V. Vinder in the places of two Mori, and prepared to expose them to the full force of time. TV, War of the Santarans, the Doctor shoved Dan onto a Mori pedestal, while she leapt onto another and used her sonic screwdriver, trapping Dan, Yaz, Vinder and herself in a time storm. Protected in his time stream by the doctor, Dan relived a day he went on a walk with Diane, and discussed his past relationships. However, Dan noticed some inconsistencies, such as time passing in the blink of an eye. Fidgeting out of his time stream, Dan found himself somewhere else. He ran into Joseph Williamson while running away, though he wasn't quite sure from what he was running. While Dan was safe, trapped in a memory, the doctor replaced the missing Mori and safely returned Dan to the temple. Swarm showed Dan a glimpse of Diane, who he had kidnapped and imprisoned in a passenger form. Vinder and later the doctor promised to help Dan save her. TV, once, upon time, both Dan and Yaz were studiously operating the TARDIS when the 13th doctor sent a distress call about the arrival of the flux. Dan then called out to the doctor, saying that he and Yaz needed her help. TV, the flux is coming. Dan later watched in horror as a weeping angel came out of Yaz's phone and took control of the TARDIS. TV, once, upon time, after the doctor rebooted the TARDIS to get rid of the weeping angel, she, Dan and Yaz arrived at the village of Metterton on the 21st of November 1967. Whilst helping to look for a missing girl named Peggy, Dan and Yaz were touched by another weeping angel and were sent back in time to Metterton in 1901. They were later joined by Professor Eustatius Jericho, who had also been touched by a weeping angel. Dan and Yaz, via an energy barrier showing what was happening in 1967, witnessed the doctor being surrounded by weeping angels and turned into one after being recalled to the division. Dan had to stop Yaz from going through the energy barrier to get to the doctor as doing so would have resulted in her death. TV, Village of the Angels, Dan, Yaz and Jericho spent three years in the 1900s following instructions from the doctor, who had left a holographic message in Yaz's pocket in case they were separated, to find clues to a potential coming battle for Earth. TV, survivors of the flux, during this time, Dan realized that Yaz harbored romantic feelings for the doctor, although they did not discuss the matter, and Yaz didn't know that Dan knew. TV, Eve of the Daleks, in 1904 they learned the date of the future event was the 5th of December and consulted a seer for further details, who advised them to fetch their dog. Taking that as a clue to contact Carvanista they traveled to the Great Wall of China where they painted a message large enough for the looper to see from space in 2021, asking him to come rescue Dan. Aboard a ship leaving China, they were attacked by a man, who committed suicide rather than be interrogated by them, and encountered Joseph Williamson briefly who Dan had previously met during the time storm. Realizing Williamson's tunnels might be a way of moving through time, they traveled to Liverpool and entered them, finding Williamson again who explained his tunnels went throughout history. To their shock, a group of Santarans suddenly invaded the tunnels. TV, Survivors of the Flux, after Yaz stopped TNE Santarans by opening a door leading to death, Dan, Yaz, Jericho and Williamson went through the door to 2021 where they met Kate Stewart, leader of the human resistance against Santaran occupation, and were reunited with the doctor, who was currently split in three forms.
Dan aided the doctor with Yaz and Jericho in traveling back to 1967 to recruit Claire Brown to help infiltrate Santaran experiments on psychics in Chile and rescuing another version of the doctor and Carvanista. Dan later reunited with Diane after the doctor saved her and Vinder from Swarm and Azure's passenger. After the doctor's plan to use the Santarans and passenger to stop by the flux succeeded, Dan, Yaz and the doctor bid farewell to Carvanista and Kate and Claire. Dan met with Diane however, because of her experiences in Passenger, she turned down his offer to try to have a drink together again. Dan then met up with the doctor and Yaz, who offered him to join them in the TARDIS, which he happily accepted. TV, The Vanquishers